are now listening to The Mindset Sessions. Hello and welcome to the Mindset Sessions. My name is Benjamin. I'm a DJ producer and I go by the name of Kid Massive. Um, On today's episode, I'm going to talk about something that a lot of people, they believe. They always seem to, to use this one particular phrase. And I've been thinking a lot about this recently as somebody just mentioned this to me. So I thought I wanted to kind of share my thoughts on the topic of things happening for a reason. And um, this podcast, I'm going to be talking about that things don't happen for a reason. I'm going to go against the grain. I'm going to go against the flow of what everybody seems to believe. And I'm going to question the things happen for a reason uh, paradigm and try and put my own perspective and spin on this. So, um, So everybody knows that when something happens, we all say, well, things happen for a reason. This seems to be the default mode when something happens and we we learn from the experience. Something happens and whatever it is that's happened, it's supposed to teach us something. And the idea is great. The fact that, you know, we have an experience and off the back of that experience, we can learn and grow and we can develop and we can, um, you know, move beyond where we're at and learn something new. And I think that's that's amazing. However, one of the things that doesn't quite sit for me is the fact that people say things happen for a reason. That's as if there is almost a grand scheme, a grand plan, something in motion which is predestined. It's a destiny of something that is going to happen to us and everything has already been mapped out for us and it happens at that exact time for this exact reason. See, I personally, I go, I'm i going to go against that and I'm going to question it and ask, well, what is this grand scheme? What is this master plan that the universe has in store for us? And I'm going to ask, well, is there really a grand scheme? Is there really a um, a roadmap of the things for us to do in the future? Things don't happen for a reason. Things just happen. We give them reason. We are the ones that project our thoughts and our ideas and our shortcomings and our desires and our fears and our expectancies on things that happen around us and to us. So when things happen, we say, well, it happened for this reason because I was supposed to learn from it. Well, What about if things just happen? What about if there is absolutely no order in the chaos and it is simply just things happen? There is a cause and an effect. I do this, therefore this happens. It is an amalgamation, a collection of different inputs that has created an outcome. So what I'm trying to say is The more we attach ourselves to a specific outcome, the more we believe that whatever it is has happened has happened for that specific reason, because we wanted something to happen. But the reality is maybe it's the other way around. Maybe things just happen and we attach meaning to them. So for example, um, if something goes wrong with your computer, This wasn't destined to happen because you were supposed to learn about something. This happened most likely because there was a malfunction in the chip. Uh, The fan wasn't working. You dropped it the day before. There is always a cause and effect as to why something has happened. It doesn't just happen off the back of just happening. It happens because of something. But there is no reason for it to happen specifically to you. It simply just happens. Does a tree fall in the forest if there's nobody there? 
Of course it does, but it only becomes an experience to me if I hear it or if I see it. If I hear it or I don't see it, then it hasn't happened. So I am the one that is essentially creating the experience. The tree fell down, whether I was there or not. It's my perspective and my outlook and me being there that created the experience of the tree falling. The laptop stopped working. And as it happened, it was my laptop that stopped working. However, if it was your laptop that stopped working, that would leave me with zero experience because it's not my laptop, it's yours. So therefore, the laptop didn't break down to teach me something. The laptop just broke down. The tree just broke down. This is the cause and effect of various different things. The tree falling down could be there's been a lot of rain. Um, it could have been that there hasn't been enough rain. It could have been it's very windy. It could have been for multiple, you know, variety of reasons. The same thing happened with your laptop. There's probably a whole range of reasons why something happened. But we assign something to that action. And depending on where we are at, depending on what we are looking for, we think that that thing happens specifically to us. I lost a hundred euro out of my wallet. There is a reason for me to lose a hundred euro out of my wallet. The reason is that I have to learn to take care of my money. This is how a lot of people think if they lose a hundred euro. There is a reason behind it that losing the money is supposed to teach you something. However, what about the fact that you just lost the money out of your wallet because you hadn't put it into your wallet properly because you had your wallet on the table and the wind blew the note away or simply you pulled it out of your pocket and you were unaware that it fell out. It just happened. But because subconsciously, maybe we have an issue with money, we assign this subconscious action to what has happened and believe that it's happened for us, that there is a destiny attached to something happening to us. That the universe has mapped out, well, this is what I need to learn throughout my life. Therefore, this is what's going to happen in my life. Whereas maybe it's the other way around. Maybe it's simply just the fact that things happen all the time, but we only notice the things that we're actually looking for. If you are happily married, you won't notice that beautiful man or that beautiful woman. Why? Well, because you're happily married. You're not looking for that. But if you are single and you happen to meet a beautiful, you know, a beautiful person, then you think, oh, well, there's a reason why I met this person. Well, it's because you were looking. It's because you were single. It's because you, are, you had your eyes and ears and your heart open for something to happen. But that person would be beautiful with or without you looking. So it's that um, outlook on life where people think that things happen for a reason. Things don't happen for a reason. Things just happen. There is an action and a reaction. So an action could be, I smile. The reaction is you smile back. The cause could be, I punch you in the arm. The effect would be that you punch me back. So I create what I get back. That is something I've created. However, if it's something outside of something that I personally myself have generated, if it's outside of an action that I have done myself, but then I have no, well, I have zero control over that. And therefore, it has nothing to do with me. But if I'm searching for something, well, then I assign that episode to me. I believe that, oh, well, this is what I was looking for. This is what's happened. Well, if you weren't looking for it, whatever happened, you wouldn't have noticed. Does this make sense? So things don't happen for a reason. They simply happen. So this is why we need to pay attention to our actions, because every action that we have has a consequence within our own life. Everything that we do, everything that we talk about, the way that we speak, the way that we think, the way that we act, has a direct consequence on our immediate surroundings. So things happen 
for that reason, because I am the instigator of something. So therefore, something happened as a result. However, things that are beyond my actions, things that are outside, things that are objective to me, I have no control over. And therefore, I cannot possibly have any influence in those things. And therefore, they happen regardless of if I'm looking for it or not. Be mindful about your actions. Be mindful about your reactions. Be mindful about the way that you move in the world, the way that you speak to people, the way that you talk to people, the way that you are around people, because then things will happen for a reason. And they will happen because you were the cause of that reason. You were the one that created it. If you have a negative thought, the reaction will probably be a negative one coming back to you. This is the cause and effect. This is the law of karma, as they say. So what you put out, you will get back. So there's nothing wrong with being angry or upset, or there's nothing wrong with being, you know, having a a negative state of mind. But it's the way that you choose to react on it. So I could be angry right now, but I'm choosing to not act upon that impulse. I'm choosing to not allow myself to go down that route because I know the consequence of me acting out and being angry will be a negative one. There will be a repercussion because I am the one that created that situation. I am the one that created that experience. So be mindful, be aware of what you do, how you do it, how you speak, your actions surrounding the people in your environment, because you will get back what you put out. But at the same time, be aware that things outside of your control happen just because they happen. There's been a series of events that have been put into motion that you have zero control over. As it happens, those events collided and created something that you are looking for. Things would have happened anyway, whether you were looking for it or not. So therefore, things don't happen for a reason. We assign them reason. But uh, anyway, feel free to follow me on my socials, Simply The Mindset Sessions. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, iTunes, Spotify, um, all social platforms. So feel free to drop me a message, drop me a line if you have any questions. And hopefully I will catch you on the next podcast episode. Mindset Sessions.